Okay, so now we are recording and you're seeing my party table. This is set up in my dining room. So first, I'm going to show you. Here's the two bags that I take. So you see um, the starter kit bag and then the insert right here. I'm going to just walk up and everything is emptied out of my starter kit bag because that was everything I needed to set the table. And then inside here in the insert bag, we'll go through is everything I need to conduct the party. So the brushes, the foundations, the color samples, all of all of that. Okay. So with the table, you'll see I have um, their trays all set for them to come up. My roll up bag, which I work out of, and I'll go through each each part here. So um, the roll up bag I talked about in how to pack for your party of what I've got in each part. I'm working out of this the whole time I'm at. Um, the party and talking about how much I love that roll-up bag so it's really romancing it while I'm going through and then each table each uh, tray is set at uh, like this at the table so the first thing you're going to see when they come in is their profile card now part of this would have already have been um, filled out yeah, with their name address so they'd know where to to sit and then I'll just instruct them to fill out the rest of that I do have a pen on their tray my business card okay and then you'll see the tray and I don't have products in dispersed in the tray when I start I like to do that as I'm going through the party I use these inserts so they know when I'm putting the things in so they make sure they're using their product in the proper order and then you'll see I do like using full-size brushes so you can either use the small ones that fit inside the compact or as you're able you can just purchase these larger ones off of um, section one so I do like giving them a cheek color brush and then an eye blending brush I just happen to put two out on the the table here I find their colors go better um, that way um, other things if needed is a headband to pull their hair back a mineral powder foundation brush if they're going to use mineral powder this is the little silicone baking cups that um, you can get at any you know any store I use that when I'm doing the mineral powder foundation I'll get the color in the brush and then we'll just use that to swirl instead of on the tray so then it's not getting powder everywhere so I just use that to mix the um, foundation I put a styrofoam bowl out here I don't always do that but if I'm at someone's home and I don't want to damage their table um, so for example this is my table it's wood I don't have a plastic tablecloth on it I would instruct them to put their dirty washcloths in the bowl um, I don't put the washcloths or the mascara wands or anything on the table prior to the start of the class because I don't want people touching them um, and then I might be giving them to another person. So um, again, I just disperse that as I'm dispersing the product. The other thing you'll see here is the beauty book. Everyone gets one of those and they're going to follow along with me as I go through my flip chart. And then I'm just going to slide over here to my placemat, which is my closing sheet. So this is the set sheet showing how the products come and um, the prices and then what I've been using lately on the flip side so I don't have to hand out looks books is a color chart and I can send this to you as well or they can be downloaded off of Mary Kate in touch on product central All right so this gives them everything they'll need to make their buying decision at the end of the party um, other things I have at the party is this is my party choices flyer I've gone back to using this again and it is framed and that shows all the different types of parties that I will do and that helps me get um, second appointments booked from my party. So I will ask them to get together again and try some of those other things. It just enables me to uh, get them on a lot more products than just skincare of what we're going to do on that first appointment. And then as we go over other things to show you, a full-size satin hands, which um, we will be taking into the kitchen to do satin hands. I think it works better to demonstrate the full-size product. Um, then they can see how it, uh, the size, how it comes, touch it, feel it, everything. So I sell more that way. And uh, then we also here have... Um, my hostess gift so you always want to give your hostess a little thank you gift this is just one of the 
uh, hand cream samplers. I call them travel size hand creams or purse size hand creams. They love those. And that's costing you about 30 cents to um, do uh, a hostess thank you gift. And that's just in addition to the hostess credit that she will be earning. So you give that to her in the beginning of the party and you'll see that when you see um, how I actually do a party. Uh, and then right here sitting is my flip chart. And you can download that also off of our website and just goes through everything you're going to do and say at the party. So there's a picture for them to look at and words that you say on the back. So I always have that with me and they're following along in the beauty book as I speak. Another thing you can do if you want, now I have mine in a cover and I can tell you where to purchase those if you want to. Um, I take a lookbook each season and then I will carry this with me. So can help in you know additional products and helping with color selections and everything at the end. I do not give a lookbook to every single person at the party. We work out of the beauty book and my closing sheet. I find my sales are higher because I'm not confusing them. Okay. Um, Yes, yeah, everything I, in products. Oh, I sat down uh, just the cream. This is the cream eyeshadow. And a lot of times I will use um, those, the Beach Blonde and the Chocolate. Oh, what's the brown one? That's this one. Hold on. What's it called? No, it's not. I just pulled one out. The, the brown one, um, the chocolate or cocoa or what, iced cocoa, that's what it's called, um, and the spatula so you can disperse it in the tray and that just gives them a um, dash out the door look, which is super uh, easy to do and everybody loves and you'll sell a lot of those too. And then when they get together with you the second time, they can work off of the color card and the looks card and the um, you know individual samples of what you're doing on your hostess. One final thing I neglected to show you is um, my Mary Kay office. So this is a bag I showed in the previous video. This actually I had purchased from the company 31. I like it, I think it is a cosmetic organizer, but I use it as my checkout station. And you'll see I've got profile cards and beauty books right here. I've got extra pens for me to use. There is a pen at every table so that my customers have those. Um, sales receipts a calculator, my petty cash to make change. These are just coupons that I use when I'm talking about my hostess credit. So, hold on here, I'm sorry I'm jiggling it around. I can't um, work one-handed. And so these just tell her, you know, I'll just go, congratulations, you had five guests who were present, so you've got $20. And um, it's just a visual for what she's earning as hostess credit. You held your party in the original time, you get another $20 free. It just helps me for the other guests to see how much she's getting free. Sometimes if you just wait till the end to figure out her hostess credit, it, it's like a big secret and they don't know what she got for free. So you're really not romancing our hostess program. So I talk about it right in the beginning. And then I've got my hostess packets in here and my business cards. So this is everything I need, whether I stay at this table to close or taking them into another room. Uh, everything I need for them right then. Um, I showed you how to pack my product in the how to pack your starter kit video so you know how to do all of that. So this is really just, um, I just keep a very simple table display. It all fits in those two bags so it's easy to set up and easy to clean up. So I hope this helps you. Of course, um, contact me with any questions that you have on how to do things and I'll be more than happy to explain further. All right, bye for now.